There are many who believe that peppermint oil is just too strong and use spearmint oil instead. Mixing the two is another popular option. No matter your sensitivity, spearmint essential oil is gentler than peppermint oil, especially for children. Although the oils possess similar properties, spearmint contains lower amounts of menthol compared to peppermint oil. This essential oil is still widely used for digestive discomfort, as well as for menstrual problems and nausea. According to a study published in the Journal of Essential Oil Research, spearmint oil's antimicrobial properties are obtained from its chemical constituents, ciscarviol and carbone. It demonstrated effectiveness against four bacterial strains, and fungal pathogens. Spearmint oil's antimicrobial effects were also shown in another study, published in the Journal of Microbiology Research. It highlighted spearmint oil's effect on Bacillus subtilis, Aspergillus niger, and Canada albicans. The oil was most potent against Escherichia coli, and also exhibited benefits as an antiseptic and preservative. Because of its potent antimicrobial nature, the use of spearmint essential oil can provide the following benefits, because spearmint oil has antiseptic properties, it can protect wounds and ulcers from infection, and even help them heal faster. It can help treat sexually transmitted diseases, such as gonorrhea and syphilis. It can help treat internal wounds and infections in the stomach and intestines. Apart from this, spearmint oil can also help relax nerves and muscle spasms due to its menthol content. Let excessive gas pass naturally from your stomach and intestines. Alleviate headaches and stress-related neural problems. Address menstrual problems, such as irregular periods, obstructed menses, and early menopause as it induces the secretion of the hormone estrogen. Stimulate nerves and brain function, as well as blood circulation. Relieve common respiratory problems, such as colds, nasal congestion, asthma, and flu. How does spearmint oil work? Spearmint essential oil can be used in a number of ways. Inhalation. Compared to peppermint oil, spearmint oil is milder and can be used on children. Two drops can help treat respiratory problems and stress. Added to bath water. Add two to three drops to your bath water to help relieve fatigue, fever, and muscle pain. Massage oil. By mixing spearmint oil with carrier oils like almond oil or evening primrose oil, it can be applied to ease body pains, menstrual pain, and muscle spasms. Topical application. Add a few drops of this oil to your skincare products and it may help treat itching, athlete's food, dermatitis, insect bites, and other skin conditions taken internally. Ingesting spearmint oil can help treat digestive problems. However, this should never be done without the aid of a professional aromatherapist. Is spearmint oil safe? Like other essential oils, using spearmint undiluted can cause skin sensitivities. It should first be blended with carrier oils like olive oil, almond oil, and coconut oil. Using it topically without any carrier oil may cause skin irritations, burning, and even photosensitivity. To determine if you have sensitivity to any of these herbal oils, apply a drop to a small area of your skin and observe if there are any adverse effects. If you have sensitive skin, it is wise to avoid using essential oils altogether, or to consult a professional before use. Despite the potential for skin irritation, spearmint oil can be used to effectively stimulate the mucous membranes found in the digestive, respiratory, and urinary tracts. Spearmint oil has a generally recognized as safe for ingestion rating from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. However, it should not be ingested without the presence of an experienced aromatherapy practitioner. Pregnant women should avoid using spearmint oil as it promotes the secretion of estrogen and potentially increase the possibility of miscarriage. It is gentler than peppermint oil and can be used on children for their benefits on digestive health. 